Welcome! This is another Out of School Care Network game tutorial and this time we're looking at the game Nine Men's Morris. A game that they think goes back to the Roman Empire, so a very old game. There are various versions of the game, five men's, uh, I think twelve men's. So different numbers of pieces involved in the game and a slightly different size board. This one's called Nine Men's Morris and that refers to the nine playing pieces that each player has. It's a two player game, also very good to play in teams. The kids in your program that like Connect Four or Drafts for instance will really like this game. Um, it's very competitive, quite a tough game. Uh, once you start losing it, it does go downhill uh, quite quickly if you're not careful. But fabulous game, interesting strategy and a very simple set of rules. So let's look at the game a bit more closely and see how it works. At the start of the game, each team or player has nine pieces off the board. And the first stage of the game is to place your pieces onto the board one piece at a time, taking turns. So let's say blue starts. Uh, the placement of the pieces is on these spots. Any of the spots can be used. Now it's white's turn. Now what white has to watch out for is the next rule of the game, which is any time blue were to make three pieces in a line, they would be able to take one of white's pieces off. So, if white, for instance, goes here, blue will play here, create three pieces in a line, and immediately be able to take one of white's pieces off. And that piece is out of the game for the rest of the game. It's gone. So, initial placement uh, is always about watching out for uh, pieces being removed from the board. It's not always a bad thing to lose a piece, but when you're learning the game, it's probably a good idea to try and avoid it. Okay, uh, so let's go backwards to here, and remember white's turn next, so white will probably go here to stop blue making a three in a line. Blue may continue with their strategy of trying to make threes by playing there. White will block. Now, this shows another aspect of the game. The row of pieces, the three in a row, must be along the line. So these diagonal formations like this do not count. It must be three pieces along any of the lines. So the inner lines or the outer lines. Uh, the three pieces in a row is actually called a mill, okay? Uh, and making mills is a key part of the game, especially once all your pieces are on the board. So it's now blue to play. Blue's not so worried about making threes in a row now, thinking more about taking certain parts of the board. So, but still needs to be blocked. So we'll move through this stage. Quickly. Now, blue needs to watch here. And white. Mm, white will quite like there. Blue will take the corner. White will take there. Now, as you can see, now white's got two spots where it could make three in a row. So blue's in a little bit of trouble. Because white can then take one of blue's pieces off. Ouch! Okay. Uh, which suggests to you that these intersection pieces are actually quite useful because they have two directions that you can build in. So blue, now, not to be caught out, will take the other intersection there to give blue some options. And finally, one more white play is there. So now all the pieces are on the board. Uh, blue's already lost one piece. What happens now is that pieces are now moved around the board along the lines and to the next empty space. So you never, for example, move pieces over other pieces like this. 
Uh, you don't jump pieces and take them off. You simply are moving the pieces along the lines to the next empty space, attempting to make mills. Three in a row. So, blue comes here, white comes here. Now, next turn, of course, white can come to here and make three in a row. So blue really needs to go back there. Has to keep that spot guarded. White's next turn. White is a little bit stuck now. So sometimes it gets more difficult to move and your choices are limited. You have to move. If at any time, especially later in the game, you cannot move any of your pieces because they are completely blocked by other pieces, then you've lost the game. You've also lost the game basically once you're down to a couple of pieces, two pieces, because you can no longer make a mill. So uh, white just moved to block here. Uh, it's blue's move now. And now with white away there, blue might try this again. Um, white has to stay there, of course. So white will come up here now. The intersections, remember? Quite a powerful spot. White's looking quite good to take a piece off. Blue will come around here. White will come into there and will take... A good move would be to take this piece off. But let's see. Let's just say white takes this piece off. Unfortunately, then they've missed the fact that blue can come here and take a piece off. But these remain very strong because yeah, taking this piece off White can now move back to there. Now, next turn, white can come back into this same spot and take another piece off. So you've really got to watch out for these places where you can move back and forth. So white's come out this way. Uh, blue will do a similar thing. But white's back in already and takes another blue off. So you can see how you can very quickly start to uh, lose the game by these kinds of... Uh, sets being built up. So really blue hasn't got any real way to block that. It's quite likely that blue is going to um, end up in a bit of trouble here. So blue is coming around to try and block it. White comes back. Blue comes forward. But white again, bang. So this game is going to finish quite quickly. And that's Nine Men's Morris. It's quite a tough game if you start to lose it can go quite quickly downhill like it did with blue in this game uh, there is some real strategy in here some good places to play uh, your kids anyone playing it will probably see after a couple of goes where they need to play particularly these strong spots to put your initial pieces down um, and then it becomes a very tough contest but the games don't take too long to play and once it starts to kind of slip away from you it can be over quite quickly so it's not too uh, unpleasant just just have to tough it out really and then play another one so uh, the board is fairly uh, straightforward it has a set of lines and dots uh, you can make it yourself uh, there's plenty of pictures of the boards online we have a template on the website that you can download if you just want to get this guideline. Um, you probably could make it a bit more colourful, uh, draw it up, put it on a piece of wood for instance, make it a bit more attractive. But um, that's basically the game, short and simple, Nine Memes Morris.